So we're up here at uh, Moonlight Bay here on Whitefish for stop number two of the Champions Tour, and it's uh, a completely different fishery than what we just uh, fished out, you know, in western Minnesota there in Ortonville at Big Stone. Well, I mean, Big Stone was unbelievable. There was weeds everywhere, and I, I wasn't prepared for that. Coming off the wind on Big Stone, excited to get out here. You know, this lake, I've fished it a couple different times, and it's a little bit tricky for me. Now we're here where there's clear water and there ain't quite as much weeds, and uh, this place just has sets up completely different. You know, with the zebra mussels over the years, it's really gotten really, really clean. A lot of cabbage, a lot of, a lot of coontail, um, ton of fish on docks. Um, kind of whatever you want to do, you can catch them here. You can catch them deep, shallow, mid-range, anywhere you want. It's one of those lakes where you can get bites kind of everywhere you go and you spread yourself out and uh, you know it's really going to come down to decision making. I think to win you're going to have to be deep. There's no doubt about it. That's going to beat the guys on the bank. Um, I'm going to spend my time up shallow. I'm going to be you know skipping docks and, and playing the shallow game. Not necessarily something I like to do but I think that's what's going to happen. You're going to see the dock fish burn out real quick and the guys that did their homework and practice deep are going to be the ones that come out on the top in the end. It's going to be the guy that locates where those fish moved on those grass edges for those deep areas. And then the guy that, that same guy's gonna have to be able to adapt quickly to some shallow bite. It's not that easy to win these things and everything's gotta fall into place. Got second place in points one year. Uh, I've been cl close to winning it many times. and So I've been close multiple times and uh, I really, really would love to break through on my home lake. Gotta try to win one of these things one of these times, so. Regardless of if you're a local or whatever, I mean, anybody can win it. It's just, you gotta have a good day and everything just has to go right. And when it's your turn, it's your turn and you'll win. All right, who's ready for the lake split? The split is very similar to last time we were here. The red and green buoys leaving Cross Lake going into Rush. Okay, so everything from those buoys, so Cross Lake, Little Pine, Daggett, that east area is one half. Coming out of Rush, the red and green buoys going into Whitefish, that is the other split line. So what that means is the entirety of Rush Lake is in limbo. Rush Lake is called the neutral zone. You can fish Rush Lake both halves. We're gonna flip a coin as to which side you guys start on. But one hat, one side will be all of Rush Lake, Cross Lake, Pine, Daggett. The second, or the other half, will be all of Rush Lake again, and Whitefish, Trout, clamshell, Bertha, hay. Dean Capra is flipping the coin for what side you start on. What's what? Tails is east? Sure. Tails is east, heads is west. Oh, that's a good one. Heads. 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 heads is west. You are starting on the whitefish side tomorrow morning. Good morning, welcome to the Champions Tour. I'm Scott Bonama. We are here on the Whitefish Chain of Lake. It's a second tour stop for the Champions Tour. It's a big event for the guys that are not only vying to win a $13,000 payout for first place today, but it's a big event for points to move on to a championship that'll be later this season. Whitefish is one of the finest fisheries in the state of Minnesota. It's a beautiful lake. Bay is all over the place. It's fairly protected, so winds aren't typically a factor here. It's chucked full of largemouth and smallmouth bass, and lots of them. Not necessarily always big five, six pound fish, but there are a lot of fish here. And in this format where we use a real live one, catch, record, release, every fish over one pound counts. The guys should be catching them all day today. It's gonna to be a fun, action-packed event. You can follow it along on the Real Live Well app, which is available to everybody in the country to use. Again, champions to a beautiful whitefish lake. Currently 725. I uh, got to my first spot, caught a couple right away. 
Um, sitting in second place with 505, four fish. Um, they weren't on, on the spot I was hoping for, but I'm just kind of going along the same stretch and picking one off here and there. So hopefully I can run into a couple more. I don't think he's going to go. Actually, no. Michael Pound. See if he goes a pound. He's kind of skinny. Oh, come on, baby. He can't sit at 15 and three quarter. No, nope, doesn't go. Should we reweigh him? Might as well. 15 ounces. All right. That's funny, when he jumped the first time, I was thinking, boy, that almost looks like a smallmouth, but I'm like, this ain't where I'm gonna catch a smallmouth. One nine, all right. Bye-bye. Now, well, that's the deep edge of the weed line, but still, this is totally, totally not a typical smallmouth spot. I mean, usually you're getting out on the points and the humps this time of year, and you know, we're well past the spawn. A lot of times, we get on the points. They'll get on the grass. They'll get in the grass, but usually, you know, more main lakeish, not on this whatever the heck this is. They usually hang out together too, so maybe I'll catch another one. Oh, what is that? I got lucky, man. I forgot to put my drag back on and got very lucky to get the hook into this one. You got the picture? Right? Okay. One nine. We're on the one nine program. A large mouth. Yeah, it's not making sense. I mean, when I drove to the <clears throat> boat ramp this morning, I mean, here we got large mouths hanging out with small mouth. I guess that happens. But on the way to the boat ramp today, um, I was driving along the road and there was a turkey and a deer standing side by side right on the shoulder of the road. I'm like, what? <laughs> what are they doing? Yeah, it's about 10 o'clock. No. Or, no. Oh, my bad. 8, 10. That's what I meant. Uh, I have three fish. I'm in third place currently. Uh, I decided I had a later boat draw and I decided to stay around the area. Uh, the middle part here, Russian Hen, is uh, a neutral zone. So I decided to stay closer to maximize my time. And there's a lot of strategy in this series. And uh, I thought this could be a good play. We have kind of overcasty conditions today. Um, just been flipping here and uh, getting some of the right bites. I know a lot of guys are going to catch a lot of numbers. Um, trying to focus on a little bit bigger fish here, and just try to survive into the second period. That's my that's my goal. You don't you can't win it in the first period, but you can you can lose it. So you got to keep yourself up there, and that's the plan. Oh my God, dude. You don't even know, dude, how many bass are here. Oh, hopefully we catch up, baby. Dude, is that noise not the greatest noise of all time? Two seven. Two seven. You got the picture? Yep. As soon as it goes through, you'll get one. That's a good one. Yes, sir. Let's go. Oh, that's a three. 
Two, two, seven. Two, seven. two seven. Perfect. Thank you, sir. You got the picture? Yep. See how I didn't get it through twice and then I got it through and then I caught one? Isn't that crazy? See, I didn't get see I didn't get it through right there. Those three flips, I didn't get it through. Two, seven. Okay, so that went through. That's a big one, dude. Oh no. Oh. Hey, Adam. I mean, I told you there's like 10 of them in there. Two, one? Two, one. Okay, two, one. tell you that there's like 15 of them in there dude you know how many bites i got on 10 flips 10 two nine <laughs> two nine, two nine. Two nine. <laughs> you got the picture yep all right how's it going eva blakely here um just fishing a windy brake line uh flipping a big jig doing what i love to do big flipping stick for the boys that know me straight high vis yellow so you can make fun all you want <laughs> um yeah, just flipping some little bit deeper weeds and a few fish in them. Just gotta keep the school going. Hope the clouds stay out so keeps the dock bite down and yeah, we'll see how it shakes out. See, it didn't go through that time. Now I'm gonna catch one. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't wanna get all too jacked up. They're definitely right in the middle. See, that didn't go through. And I have a one and a quarter on. Oh my God, I just missed one. Oh my God, he just ripped the rod out of my hand. I don't think you broke it. I don't know, but he ripped the rod out of my hand. Oh, oh come on. That's a good one. That's a good one, dude. Yes, sir. I got the camera ready. You're the man, dude. That might be a three. Yep, that's a three. That's the biggest one of the day, but huh? Hopefully. Uh, so close, 214. Okay. That went through. I'm having a nice time. A real nice time, as Timmy would say. Real nice time. But you can't let up in this event. You can't get complacent. You gotta keep catching them. You can't stop. Otherwise, Noah Schultz, who's right behind me, the worst guy to have right behind you. Barely hooked. <laughs> First of all, I didn't stick. Give it time, give it time. Patience, patience. <laughs> Me too. One seven. Beautiful. All right. What time we got here? We can look at the graph. That's a big one. That's a big one. 
That's a big one. Oh, oh my gosh. Get in this boat. Yes. Oh, that's the big one of the day. It ain't four, but it's a three and a quarter. Just. Oh, a three, two. Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Whitefish. Uh, this is your uh, early morning, you know, mid-morning update. It's about 9.20 right now. Uh, currently in first place, we have Brian Bangston. Uh, the banger's got 30 pounds and eight ounces. In second place, we have Noah Schultz with 21 pounds, 15 ounces. In third place, Tim Schrader, who we just came from, saw him catch a fish. He's got 10 fish at 17 pounds, 10 ounces. In fourth, Jim Moyna. Jim is always tough every lake we go to. He's sitting with nine fish, 15 pounds. In fifth, Jacob Novak, 14 pounds, 12 ounces, nine fish. In sixth, Luke Gillen is sneaking up the board here. Six fish, 13 pounds, three, 13 ounces but a five pound, one ounce large fish so far. So only six fish, but they're all big ones. Seventh, Evan Blakely, one of our rookies. Six fish, 13 pounds, five ounces. No more schnitzel, I think. Eh? Oh yeah, oh wait. All the way up. Oh, see that? The hook just came out. That could have been a bad deal there. What do we got? One nine. Oh, nine. That's slow. I keep plucking away. I started, I started, there's a little wolf pack there in the Mega Live. I fired it in there and I caught this one, so hopefully we can get, uh, get a few more out of them. There's like four or five of them down there. That's a good one. That's a big one. Be a, be a bass. Oh yeah, that'll help. That'll help. My life snatches another one. What do we got? 215. 215. Mega Live has two in a row. I see a little wolf pack of them. Two casts, two fish on the Mega Live. I'm actually catching most of my fish today. This morning I caught a lot of them on the Bagley DB2 fan casting everywhere and then kind of located them with the crankbait and now I'm kind of picking them off with the mega live when I see them. Been pretty good started off in this first spot we didn't we didn't get bit much but we made a slight change come down to where I caught a few fish and pre-fish and um, they were there one cat one after another we were catching them and I think Tim up there was catching them we actually just swapped spots fish on Oh, yeah, one of those heartbreaks. Dang it. Right now we're just drop shotting waypoints where we caught one in practice and they're there. It's kind of weird. You only catch one or two in practice and then you come along with a different bait and they're loaded up on there and you can catch them. I'm trying, but camera guy showed up. There we go. Now we can go back on the board. One, five. Per One, five and three quarters. If I lose by an ounce, I'm going to wish that I re uh, reweighed him. Yep, we got one, five. Well, uh, the morning was pretty bad, but the last hour and a half has been pretty good. I don't know if it's still, it must not be morning anymore. Um, kind of, kind of on a dock pattern, and and uh, it didn't really get good going for till the last hour. But got wind, got overcast. I can't believe I'm ever catching any on them. But they keep biting, so I have to keep fishing. Whoa, it's close one. Ah, yeah, I think he's, I think he's one zero. 
That's one oh. He's fat. Oh, I think it's two. You called right on the dot. I think it's one two. One oh. One oh. Yep. So, <laughs> those are a precious animal. I'll tell you what. But a lot of times I wished I had a pound and I didn't. <laughs> you good? You got everything? Oh, it weighed. That's all I get for leaving the juice. Going and exploring. Oh boy. That's a good one. Be a bass. I guess it was worth it and going exploring. We got two six. Two six. Looks a lot bigger than that. But I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, usually they come in pairs, so cross your fingers. He's got another one. Why did I leave? Stupid. Pain and dry, but it'll work. It's on a lot of them again. Stop. One, two. What we're doing is cruise along this weight edge. Like fishing new water. I'm fishing water all morning. I've never fished even in practice. Looking for little wolf packs. Ducky. Sitting in the lead right now, uh, very uncomfortable with Noah Schultz right on my heels. Uh, had a really good first half, uh, super fortunate, couldn't be happier with how it went. It looks like the weights are, are lower right now than we even expected. Um, so catching, catching that many and having a little bit of a cushion is nice, but you cannot be complacent in this series. I have to do that all over again, and it's gonna be a challenge. I'm a little worried about the second period, uh, but I'm gonna do the absolute best I can and and try to try to win this thing. I mean, that's the goal. We're not here for second or third, so. Sitting in second place, I, I don't know, we're eight or nine pounds back, guy banger. Um, this is my better half. The morning half, I was just trying to survive and hold on and went better than I anticipated, so I'm hoping these fish go, but it's fishing, it's Champions Tour, anything can happen. I could not catch a fish this afternoon, but. Fingers crossed, it goes well. We are sitting in third place after the uh, first half session. Uh, I decided to fish deep in the first half. Um, looks like, I don't, you know, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do in the second half. But the first half was the half, was the side of the lake that I was most concerned about. And this one, I feel like I got a better shot at catching more fish. But the first half went as good as it could possibly be because in actuality, um, where I ended up fishing, I didn't even practice at all in those places. It just, it was an area where I remember catching some fish many years ago, um, just fun fishing. And uh, so I decided, because my deep fish wasn't, all my other deep places weren't working, but <clears throat> on that side of the lake, but there, um, um, I just I had to check it out because I wasn't that confident in the shallow bite given the weather situation. And uh, I started catching a few fish right away. And then as I was monitoring the uh, standings on the uh, Livewell app, you know, I could say, I, I could see that, hey, I'm, you know, I'm staying in the top five. So I might as well just stay out deep and forget about my shallow fish. So now what, I, what I'm gonna do this afternoon, I don't know yet. Jacob Novak here, finished up the first half, sitting in fourth place, um, about 15 pounds back from the lead, uh, which is kind of where I was hoping to be. And I, I think I'm, Hopefully going to run into a few of the second half, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Hopefully I can 
pull it off. So. Are you excited for this side? How is it? How is it in comparison? Yeah. So practice for me was way better this this half. Um, gonna try to get on a spot, and if I can get that spot, I think I'm gonna catch him pretty good. Entry. Did you get a picture? Or no, not yet. Right 211 to start Heck it off. Yeah. Here we go. Bar. They're here, Blair. <laughs> I'm ready to watch this. Two eleven. Two eleven. Another one. Here we go. You gotta hold her real quick. Two eleven. Keep her going. Yep. Was that the last one two eleven too? They're they're good ones right here. Side up quick. Bigger than those one twos that we were catching earlier. Damn near flipped it around. I don't think that one is. Got off. Those are different spankers, right? Yeah, there's a lot of those ones here. Still just tracking them down. Buddy. Two, four. Let's go. Yeah, the boy, give me some. Yeah, I can see him down there, they're everywhere. See the bigger dots swimming around? <laughs> there you go. A little smaller one. I'll take him though, still over two. Two, two. 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 Perfect. Keep it rolling. Mm -hmm. Dude, if you keep you keep this consistency up, this thing's yours. Yeah. There's plenty of fish down there. Mm -hmm. What am I up to right now? One o'clock now, second half on whitefish here. I got 42 pounds and I just squeaked the lead. What am I ahead by? A pound or two maybe? Not much. So now I'm running around like a madman trying to figure out what to do because the sun just came out, so that's gonna change, that's gonna change everything. I ran four docks, I caught a two-pounder. So I think I might start running docks now with the sun out. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just keep checking offshore, keep checking docks, and just see what the fish tell me to do here and see what happens as the day unfolds. Yep. One eleven. That'll help the cause. Problem was, there wasn't many dock fish in Cross Lake to begin with. I mean, you got 60 guys, or however many guys beat the docks, you know. They're already getting plucked off. So we might just go back offshore and milk it out. That's a good one. Called an audible. Told myself I wasn't gonna fish docks today. <laughs> At least in the afternoon anyways. 114. 114. Switching it up. Gonna roll with the weather. So that's why I throw, you see that's why I throw braid. I think I'd be so wrapped up and around. That's a big one.
There's another one right with it. Now, I've never had this happen where I, that ain't good. There we go. That was chaotic. <laughs> Two thirteen. Two thirteen. Let's reweigh that one. Same thing. Two thirteen. <laughs> I've never hooked a bass under one dock and almost lose them under a different dock. <laughs> Oh, big one. I'm gonna go over right where you are, Blair. Bye. Baby. That's a good one. Yeah, I'll take that one. Bad. Do it. Do it. Do it, there we go, let's keep her rolling. Oh, you wanna write that down quick? Oh man, I feel like I can just keep picking them off. Same sloop? Yep. Come on, baby. Well, it's 212. 211. Yep. Changed. Got a second one in his mouth. <laughs> There's a school yeah. there. There's a school there. Atta boy. Get that picture. Good. Scale still teared. Dude. Two nine. Two ten. Two ten. Sweet. <laughs> Let's go. Hey boss. Let's go. Give me something, dude. Woo. Dude. Did you see that bite? Slammed it. Not a big one either. Man. I'll take it. Yeah. Hit you up a picture here, Brody. Got the picture? Yep. That one hit it harder than any of them today. One eight. Good old. So now it's, it's 1.30, and just informed that Novak, Novak took the lead for me. And the song come out, so now I just don't know if I should be hitting docks. I, just don't, I don't know if I can catch enough fish on docks to win. But I know when the sun comes out, this offshore bike gets pretty tough out here. And I don't know if I can catch enough fish offshore either to win. But I, I just sampled docks quick. I think I fished 10 docks and I caught two two-pounders quick. So, maybe if, I don't know what to do. Docks are high percentage, but they're, they're getting fished. Everyone's fishing docks. So I don't know. I'm gonna probably check a couple more offshore places. And if they don't go the way I want them to, I'm probably gonna fish in docks, I guess. I don't, as of right now, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Just let the fish tell me what to do, I guess. Win this thing. I'm ready, dude. <laughs> oh, I saved him. I saved him. Didn't even get a penalty. You like that? 
Two four. Two four. All right. Well, that was sketchy catch there. So it was nice about that when I caught that fish there. I got that one boat network button on my trolling motor. And I got all, all my stomp switches. I'm not tripping over stuff. Getting boogered up with extra stomp switches that's going to be up here. It's responsive, it's quick. So is the trolling motor. We're on to the next dock. Oh, they got one of those pumps. Finally, holy cow. 1.6. Get out of there. Yeah. Nope, you're good. What up, Keith? One nine. One fish at a time. I'm gonna write that down quick. Yep. Sweet. That was way up shallow. They could have pulled up there. Uh, it's like, why, why hasn't my bait hit the bottom yet? I just kept going. I was kind of worried about this half because I knew I had, I knew I had the, potentially the winning stretch. Pull up here to my surprise, there's no one sitting here, and it's been picking them off pretty steady. Not, it's not like left and right, but every five, ten minutes, I, I'm catching one and. I think I might just keep going back and forth here for a while and see, see if I can keep picking them off and hopefully it's enough to take the win, so. In first place currently at two o'clock in the afternoon, two hours to fish, Jacob Novak, 48 pounds, 10 ounces, 26 fish. In second place, Noah Schultz, 46 pounds, three ounces, 24 fish. In third place, Jim Moyna, 42 pounds, 11 ounces, with 20, 24 fish. In fourth place, Chad Keller, 22 fish, 42 pounds. He's made quite a move this afternoon. And I see Moyna's got one on right behind us right now. So things are gonna change even during this update. In fifth place, Brian Bankston. He has 18 fish at 39 pounds, three ounces. In sixth place, Hunter Went has come up from the pack. He has 23 fish at 34 pounds, five ounces. In seventh place, Kevin Fastbind, 16 fish, 30 pounds, 13 ounces. In eighth place on his home lake, he's, he's always hanging back there at 14 fish. Dean Capra, 26 pounds, zero one ounces. In ninth place, Mike Ulick, he has 16 fish at 25 pounds. And rounding out your top 10, Matt Holwig, 14 fish, 24 pounds, 11 ounces. And Jim just weighed another one and see how tight those weights are? Yeah, we're Especially now. Those top weights, well this one, it won't be in yet, but, um, but right now he is in third place. Nope, Keller just moved to third. Jim's in fourth. Jim's got 44 pounds. Will he move back to third? Uh, it's Schultz, Novak's in first, Schultz is in second, Keller is now in third at 44.12. And we just sent a boat camera to him, I think. And then uh, uh, Jim's in fourth, but his, this last fish I don't think is on there yet. Oh, God. Oh, he's still on. Is he? Is he still on? Yep, he's still on. He's still on. There's two of them already. <laughs> Talk about dumb luck there. <laughs> I thought I lost him. There's another one in there. I just seen him. One seven. One seven. Think we can catch another one? Yeah. He's seeing me. He went right into the lift. I see him. Same size as that one. Alrighty. Well, it's uh, two twenty-four right now. Um, we kind of stumbled on a little school, ran up the board a little bit. It's just kind of been hit and miss, but a um, lot of little ones. <laughs> it's been kind of a jump between, oh, hold on. Oh, I missed them. But yeah, they've been, they've been really finicky today, so I had to downsize and 
so far it's been working pretty good. I've been jumping around different schools and I don't know, I just need a few more bites, I think, to jump. I just need a few big bites to jump up, really. Um, no one's catching them fast, so I figured if I can get on a little school and run up the board really quick, I can make a run at it, but I haven't found it yet. So we're just gonna keep picking one off here and there, and hopefully we can run into a school. Oh. Ain't a giant, but he'll win. Oh yeah, one, one, three. One, three. All right. Just a little baby, but we'll take them all. Sign and start fishing again. Let's do it again. Uh, yeah, I'm sitting at first. We got about an hour to go. Not feeling great because I haven't got a bite in a while. Um, but I, I'm th th considering making a move pretty soon. I caught all my fish right here, and I, I feel like if I got to win it, I gotta gotta make a change and swing for the fences a little bit. So probably gonna make a little move here in a little bit and see if we can catch a couple. Yeah. So basically, when I first got here, I was fishing the edge of edge of this the, these weeds here. There's some beautiful coontail down here. And once the sun got up, since it seems like they pulled up into here, and I've just been sitting on top and targeting the the clumps with my 360 and just pitching pitching at them. So, well, 315, five pounds back. What's going through my mind? I am kind of mad at myself because I lost four fish today, two of which I had control over, and the other two I probably not could have done, but. Those fish puts me in the lead and puts me ahead a good chunk of, you know, good amount. So now I'm just like, I'm, I'm fishing, I don't even really know, I'm just looking for fish right now. I'm just trying to fish the ugliest stocks I can find that hopefully people don't fish. Hopefully I can come across, you know, four, three, four, five fish quick. And But I, I don't really, I really don't think I can do it. I just don't. There's not a lot of dock fish to begin with in this part of the lake. And the docks are getting a ton of pressure. So I just don't see how I can catch up. But I mean, it only takes two or three docks and all of a sudden you're back in it, you know? Come on, be a bass, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. Finally. Back in the saddle. Let's go. Two six. Two six. Come on. Come on up. Oh. Come on. Yeah. Come on, be another, be another wad. Be a little wad here. Let's get three, four in a row here and get some. Get some stuff fired up. Man, that had been a long time between bites. That wind just is, picks up, then it slows down, picks up, doesn't know what it wants to do. That thing was kind of running like a pike. I was a little skeptical at first. Let's see if we can get them on this side. Two pounds, come on, baby. Gotta keep her grinding, keep grinding. Gotta, there it is, there it is. Not quite too, oh. oh. Well, it's a penalty, but we'll take it. Not quite two pounds, I don't think. But it is, one three. One three? Let me know when I'm good to go. Oh. Right, Man, Champions Tour. I'm feeling like a, uh, I don't know what a heart attack feels like, but this has to be close. Um, just fired up, man. I, I've been on these schools all day, kind of going back and forth, getting them fired up. And uh, 
it, I had a big lull here and nobody's catching anything. I'm like, the door's open. I got to get on something. Just caught two fish. Hopefully we can keep it going, baby. I'm feeling good. Um, I'm just going to do what I can to, I, I got this plan. I'm sticking it out till the end of the day. And you know, if Novak gets him, he gets him. The guy's a heck of a stick and he's local. So, you know, just got to keep grinding. I think I can get her done. You gotta wonder if you would have stuck it out offshore if you'd have been better off, you know? Oh boy. All right, we're out. They have to right weigh this fish. One ten. One ten. Not gonna be enough, but hopefully we'll overtake third. Got it. Please be a pound. I think he's gonna go. You got it. I'll take a picture while he's on the scale. Yep. One. One. Oh, the one one. I think it's just because he's flopping. One. It's a one pounder. Give me a picture. Unreal. Barely. Oh my gosh. Coming down to the wire. Remember you got sign this? Yep. <laughs> oh. Dang. First lost fish of the day, that hurts. That hurts. Man, that hurts. That was a good one, too. Man, that hurts so bad. <laughs> he was right there. What the took the penalty. I feel like I got like 15 minutes. Like, when we got to go. What time do you have to be back? 4 15. I don't know, I'd rather be safe. It's at least 20. Come on, this is a winning fish right here. That might be the fish right there. Might be. When we're ready to go here, I'll take a picture. That's your one. 112. All right, can you write that down quick? The Nico coming in clutch again. Put one on that all day. 59. Get that app ready. Wait and get that app, get that phone going. Let's call it. Choo -choo. Put it in the app first and we'll do the paper after. App first. The okay. photo? Two, two? Yep. Okay. Yes! Yeah, I've uh, been running Skeeter boats for since 1998, so I guess that's going 25 years now. I've had a bunch of different models or whatever, and uh, the thing I love most about it is the ride and the drive. That you don't have to swirl around with it or anything. You just put the hammer down and take your hands off the wheel and you're just flying. Uh, the other great thing about them is I was just at Leech Lake last week and the wind blew. And in my opinion, that's one of the best rough water hauls there is. I mean, you might get a little wet, you're gonna get wet in every boat, but uh, it just handles big waves really well. 
I've been partnering with Shiker for four years now, and uh, man, it's the greatest decision I made. I just I love the products, you know, the quality, the craftsmanship, the technology, and every one of these pieces of clothing they have, uh, you know, just second to none. So, if you guys are looking, I highly encourage you guys to check out some Striker products. You know, the, anything from the ice and the snow all the way up to the UPF sun gear, they got everything covered. Just wrapped up the second stop for the Champions Tour 2023 uh, on the Whitefish chain. I ended up third somehow, thankfully. Uh, on the morning half, I lit him up pretty good on this Bagley DB2. I believe it's a blue olive shad. Um, located at a big school with this caught quite a few on it. And then I, you know, was mixing in a jig and uh, like a drop shot, stuff like that. And then the afternoon half, the sun came out because the morning was really cloudy and dark and windy. In the afternoon half, the sun came out. The offshore bike really started to die and kind of like just kind of fade away. So then I transitioned into fishing docks. And uh, when I fish docks, I just like to use a small little compact finesse jig and Way I go. So jig, crankbait, that's pretty much a one-two punch today. What's up guys, Chad Keller here, uh, champion sewer angler. Today I got second place. I was flipping the AT jig, uh, flipping isolated coontail patches, had a real good afternoon doing this, got on some schools, um, six to 10 fish in a school, just flipping this jig one after another. And then also pitching a lot of docks, using the arsenal, uh, Nico wacky tubes with this tool. If you're not doing that, man, this is the same sink I use all day and cut all my fish. So uh, check out our snow and all terrain. And yeah, just had a blast on whitefish. I mean, really tough pre fish, but um, I was able to dial in a couple little things and they, they ended up being a lot better than I had or than I thought I had and ended up getting on a couple schools and uh, made a charge in the afternoon. and. Um, lost to Jacob Novak by a couple pounds, and uh, yeah, it was a great day on the Whitefish chain. Jacob Novak here just, just finished up Whitefish chain, ended up pulling off the win. Super fortunate to run into some good ones this afternoon. Um, basically, all I was doing is uh, fishing this coontail edge, and once the sun got up, I was going in farther and flipping. Caught almost all of them on a craw tube, watermelon red. Um, and that was on a 7.3, uh, 4.5 Kistler Helium. And then the two, two key fish that I think sealed the deal for me at the end of the day, caught on, the, on an eco rig uh, with Arsenal, Arsenal band, just keeps your bait, bait for longer. And that was on the Kistler Helium 7.3, uh, medium heavy spinning rod. So super happy with how the day ended up and I don't know, ready for Lahamadu. Hopefully we can catch them out there.